now it's 2015. The Hawaii Department of Agriculture, Aquaculture, and Livestock Support Services has received an increasing number of phone calls from people with diverse backgrounds about starting a commercial aquaponic farm. Commercial aquaponic farming in Hawaii has developed and improved quickly by local aquaponic enthusiasts. Besides several successful commercial farms, there are many backyard aquaponic systems in people's homes, providing the household with fresh lettuce, other types of greens, and clean fish. It is wise to figure out the sales outlets for aquaponic products before the interested person invests money and time in this new venture. The Hawaii Department of Agriculture encourages people to explore the opportunities in commercial aquaponics and decided to make this marketing movie to help new farmers get started. This is Josh. Josh is 27 years old. Born and raised in Honolulu, Hawaii, Josh enjoys working hard and also many outdoor activities. He learned about aquaponics from a friend with a backyard system. The advantages of aquaponics farming impressed him very much, such as the water-saving feature and the smart combination of fish and plants in one symbiotic system. In the system, plants get nutrition from the fish wastewater and clean the water for fish to use again. Aquaponics uses 80 to 90 percent less water than soil-based farming. Josh took the Hawaii Department of Agriculture's aquaponic training class, and after graduation, he decided to talk to his business partner and mentor, Howard, about starting an aquaponic farm together. Howard, thanks for making time today. I have a new business idea I want to share with you about. Yeah, you and I are business partners. Why not? You got it. Yeah, we are. I have a great idea. I think we should start an aquaponics business. What is that? Aquaponics is a, uh, it's a system of aquaculture in which the waste products from a farmed fish or another aquatic animal provides nutrients for plants. And, and the plants, which in turn, it purifies the water and it's, it's a recirculating system. It, it, the plants provide a greater yield in most cases and I think it'd be a great business for us to get into. Do you know how much it's going to cost us to get started? I'm not, not too familiar with that, but I think you and I can, we, we, we can think something yeah. out. Yeah, there's a lot of things you got to find out before you start a business, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. no, yeah, you sure. got to know where you're going to sell the product, how much you're going to sell, you know, what mm -hmm. you're going to do with the product, right? Absolutely. And how long it'll take, your labor costs. Mm -hmm. Is there anybody you know that does aquaponics? I think there's one guy I know. I just finished a course on commercial aquaponics. It was put on by the Hawaii Department of Agriculture. It was like a, it was a 13 week long course and it, it taught me the fundamentals and, and some, some of the ideas that, that I want to share with you later on in our business of how we can become successful farmers. And it was, uh, there was a gentleman there named uh, Fred Lau and he runs Mari's Gardens and he has a very successful aquaponics farm. I think I, we, I can give him a call, I can find his number. Okay, why don't you do that and okay. then we can meet after that. Yeah, that sounds great, thanks Howard. Mari's Gardens, located in Mililani, Hawaii, is the most advanced aquaponic farm in Hawaii. Fred, how's it? Hi. All Thanks right. so much for meeting with me today. I really, really appreciate hey, it. Hey, you're welcome, Josh. Yeah, I wonder, you have a couple minutes? Uh, sure, time. We, we sure, can, we sure. Can talk about your farm and everything. Go ahead. Awesome. Oh, any questions? Oh, so, uh, yeah. One of my questions is, so what, you know, what made you go into aquaponics? So we were looking at hydroponics originally, and then we decided, hey, you know, this is much more sustainable. We're mm -hmm. growing two crops. We're mm -hmm. growing a protein as well as a vegetative crop. So we decided to go ahead and mm -hmm. do aquaponics. Oh, that's awesome. And, and, and what, are your, what are your main crops? Our main, well, right now our main crops are, is lettuce. lettuce. Our main crop okay. is lettuce. It's but beautiful, then, yeah, it's, yeah, it's gorgeous. And we do a pretty good job at it. We're still not there, but we're getting mm -hmm. there. We're, we're targeting tomatoes, cucumbers, lettuce, uh, some onions and beets, and that's probably going to be our mainstay. That's awesome. That's awesome. And for your main crops, lettuce, you know, how long on average uh, did it take you to become a master, at, a master at your craft? We're still not masters at the craft, okay. so we're still learning. Uh, we're still playing with our nutrients, and we're still playing with the aquaponic system. And trying to do this organically is a very challenging mm -hmm. situation here. We've gone through probably 50 varieties of lettuce. 50 varieties. And we've come down to the six that we now grow. What, what are the six? So we're growing uh, five Dutch varieties okay. and Manoa lettuce. And Manoa lettuce. Yeah, the Dutch varieties are a Salanova one cut variety mm -hmm. where we can just cut it and put it on the plate. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. That's awesome. And, and these lettuces and the rest of your crops go out to market? They all go out to market. Everything is for sale. The fish is for sale. The lettuce is for mm -hmm. sale, of course. And, and, and who do you distribute to in the market and even your tilapia? The 
the produce goes out to Armstrong Produce, uh, Diotani, everybody out there takes a bit of our produce. Um, then, of course, the retailers, Whole Foods, mm -hmm. Down to Earth, Kokua Market are, are big supporters. They have been from the very start. That's awesome. Oh, yeah. You're big time, Fred. No, 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 no. <laughs> this is really, really, really small. This is still prototype stage. Mm -hmm. We're still practicing with many, many different mm -hmm. varieties. Over here, we're playing with, we've played with about 10 different varieties okay. of romaine, for okay. example. That's a lot of romaine lettuce. It's been over a year and a half working on romaine in this heat. It's not the crop that was that should be growing here, and that's why we keep trialing. Okay, okay, mm -hmm. that's awesome. And and uh, another question that I have is, you know, this is a wonderful organic farm here. H how how have you seen the market respond to uh, consumers purchasing organic products? I think 50-50. I think some consumers are very keen, very aware mm -hmm. of what organic means, and then some consumers really don't care and they're more price driven. Mm -hmm. So we're actually now able to pro provide both. We're able to provide organic and um, and non-organic produce, but even our non-organic produce, the key issue is that we do not spray any synthetic pesticides. Okay. So we only use um, synthetic fertilizers on our non-organic product. Oh, that's awesome. And, and Fred, um, my last question, you know, if I'm trying to start my own business for aquaponics, you have any advice that you want to share with me? Just be careful and plan your market before you start growing. Okay. And that's the main thing so that you know once you have this crop of lettuce, mm -hmm. which is a 45 day crop, you have a market on day 46. It's critical. That's great. Yeah, that's, that's, that's some good words of wisdom. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, Fred. All right. Thank you very much, it. Josh. You have a wonderful Take day. Take care. You too. I'll talk to you soon. Thanks. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching this movie. It's been funded by the USDA's Agriculture Marketing Services Federal State Marketing Improvement Program and the Hawaii Department of Agriculture. The information in this movie is for the viewer's reference only. The Hawaii Department of Agriculture does not guarantee its full accuracy. A new farmer should do his own due diligence before starting a farm. You know, we really do encourage entrepreneurs and investors to start new farming businesses in Hawaii. So hey, give Liz a call. The number's given on the screen. She will help you out.